world's most famous clown. Ho, ho, ho. I'm such a funny clown. I like to travel around and round the circus in my home. I'm a whizzy bureau. In a rocket ship I soar. I explore the ocean floor. But must know I never go. I miss you. Come along. Oh. Here to the Mojo Big Top. We got so many exciting things planned right here in the center ring of our Mojo TV circuit show. Not only Professor Tweety Pooper, but my pal Clank the Tin Can Man gonna stop by. We always have fun when he's around. We're gonna have another try at our giant, ever growing treasure chest bonus scheme, plus another ding dong dandy Mojo adventure. Hey, Professor Tweety Pooper, where'd he go? Professor Tweety Pooper, you know the juggling you were doing? Do you mind if I tried just a couple of juggling things here? Hey, why don't you hold on to this, and I'll just stand right here and do some juggling. So, no, are you kidding? Because I'll just do it right up here. Right, you get there, you watch it. You see, see, it's all in the way you sort of move your hands. You've got to get a rhythm going, and then you just keep your eye on what you're doing, right? Really, really, okay. Watch this now. One. Give me another one. Okay. One. One, two. That's pretty good. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, Professor. <laughs> Oh, Professor, am I happy to see you. Hi, Mr. Clang. How are you today? Very good, Professor. Say, Professor, I know you like to balance things. Oh, I can balance anything. Anything you see. You can balance anything, Professor? Anything you see, yes. I have a funnel here, Professor. Yes, Mr. Clay. And you have a coin, Professor? Yeah, here, here's one right here. <laughs> Is that a good coin? That's a very good coin, Professor. Yes, it's a good coin. Now take the funnel and put it in your trousers, Professor. Put the funnel in my trousers. No, 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 no. In the front, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> now put the coin on your forehead. You sure I got a forehead? That's right, Professor. Everybody has a forehead. And now balance the coin, and when it falls into the funnel, you will see Niagara Falls. Oh, wait, 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 Mr. Clank. I balance it, and you, you see, it. you see when and when, then Not I drop yet, it Professor. in the funnel, Not and yet. when it drops it in the funnel. Not yet, Professor. Yes. That feels funny, you know. Not yet, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Clanky, what did you? I like that kind of, but these are the funniest. Uh, no. <laughs> These are the funniest Niagara Falls I have ever seen, you know? Just you know, a little trick, Professor. You, you know, Clanky, I wish both of came along that we could take that funnel and do it on him with water. How do you think? He, 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 he comes. Mr. Bosso, Mr. Bosso, come here. What, what, what is it? What, what, what is it? You know, Mr. Bosso? Yes, yes. Do you see that nice funnel? Yes, but I'm busy. I've got some things to do on the no, other no, side. No, 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 Mr. Bosso. What is it? What? Don't, don't let him get away. <laughs> Mr. Have you have you ever done a trick with a funnel? Oh, it looks like a horn. What do you do? Blow it? No, 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 no. This is a funnel that goes. No, that goes here. Let me put it right in here. Right, yes. And then you hold it like that. Uh -huh. And then we have a coin. Where do we have a coin? You have to take the keys and put it right on here. Uh huh. And then you balance it. And when you balance it and balance it. Then you drop it in here, uh -huh. and you're gonna see the Niagara Falls. No, wait, let me. You take these keys, yeah. and then I throw them into this funnel, and if I do that, I'll see Niagara Falls. If you can do it, <laughs> that famous waterfall. Yes, waterfalls. Boy, this is another Would one. Would you like to see the waterfall? Yeah, that'd be kind of fun, Clank. You do it. Okay. And, and then you sure you have never done it before? No, no, I've never done it. He has never done it before. <laughs> All right, I'll just stay here, and, and then if I just balance it, tell me when I'm supposed to drop it into the funnel. Okay? Tell me when I'm supposed to drop it into the not funnel. Not yet, there. not yet. Uh, tell me when I'm supposed to drop it into the funnel, will you, Professor? Tell me when now. Yeah, uh, I must. Cool, good. Is it time now? Is it time? Time to drop it into what, the funnel? What? Professor! Professor! I meant to tell you something. Something that I think you should know and Clank should know too. I've been to the falls before. <laughs> oh, it's kind of nice sitting with all my pals here at the Voodoo Big Top. I enjoy that. And I thought it might be kind of fun to, to tell you about a, a, a special story. <laughs> Wait for a minute. I, will somebody get that phone, please? And Look, when you answer the phone, Mr. Ringmaster, it's... Will somebody please answer the phone? It's ringing there. It... 
Arkansas wrote in Tootin' Toon Gun Shootin' Detective. The latest caper I saw was the case of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It was midnight. The phone rang. It was a lady, a Miss Locks, Goldilocks. She was in trouble. Me and my partner Butch rushed to the scene of the crime at the home of the Three Bears. Give me the facts, ma'am, just the facts. We was robbed! Somebody busted in our house, ransacked the joint. Somebody stitched all our goodies, took everything we had! Yeah, we want to file a complaint. Some schnook busted my TV set yet. You get a description of the suspect, ma'am. Oh, yeah, he was short and tall, skinny and sort of fat, about medium size. Just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Oh, there's somebody in the house now. Probably a prowler, Chief. I better blow this joint before somebody calls the cops. Uh-oh, too late. Open up in the name of the law. Open up or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll bust your door down. Somebody's sleeping in my bed. How about that? It's little old Goldilocks. Ain't she a doll? Shh! Don't wake the poor kid up. She's beat. We interrupt this clam bake to bring you a police bulletin. Be on the lookout for this prowler. Phony Tony. Sometimes using this disguise, a Goldilocks outfit. But beware, he is armed. Whoa-wee, Butch. This is Phony Tony. Call the cops. But Bozo, we are the cops. Yeah, it slipped my head. Stick him up, Phony Tony. I got you covered, and I'm gonna uncover you. Home Scott, home covered, funny face. Hey, Sherlock Holmes would say, Gangway! Follow the leader, Butch! I'll teach you to clown around with Goldilocks. Gotcha, clowny! Funny boy. Looks like I gotta reach in my old bag of tricks. See this phony Tony? I don't see nothing. You will. You will. Kapow! I'll blast you, funny face. I still got one more trick in my bag of tricks, Mr. Phony Tony. What kind of trick, Lonnie? It's my patented pistol popper stopper. Pistol popper stopper? Sure, stops pistols from popping. How does it work? Simple. I just push this stopper into your pistol and your pistol will be too pooped to pop. <laughs> That's what you think, Flatfoot. One, two, three, bang! Hey, you wrote my gun. It won't work. Oh, yes, it will. All you gotta do is pull the plug out. You mean like this? I'll fix you, copper. Now, where'd that bozo go? So, I see you, clowny. Smashing mirrors without a license is against the law, mister. I'll clobber you, clowny. Where that clown steps out of the house, <laughs> will he ever be surprised? Doo -dee -doo -dee 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 -dee. Boy, oh boy, what a trap. And now for the finishing touch. Well, Mr. Bear, that solves the Goldilocks caper. Thanks, Bozo. What the? I don't get it. That clown walked right across my trap and nothing happened. What did I did wrong? Hmm. You know, crime just don't pay. Not like it used to, Phony Tony. <laughs> What a 
of the things I thought we'd do right now is have our game time here under the Bozo Big Top. I'd like to have you meet our players. Come on in and say hi to Bozo, everyone. Okay, come on right in. Right over here. There, there you go. Come right over here to Bozo. There you go. And just turn around so we can get a good look at you. You stand right over there. There we go. Now, that's how nice we are. Let's see. You're Elaine and Peter. And this is... Uh, Renate. Now, are you good builders? I hope so. Will each of you stand right behind those cups and cards? You stand over there, Renate. You get in, in the middle over there, will you, Peter? And also, Elaine, you stand right here. Now, this is how we play our game. This is called stack the cups. What you do is you take one cup, and then you put a card on top of it, and then put on another cup, and you try and build a building as tall as you can. Now, the one who builds the tallest building is going to be the winner. Now, here's the secret. You can stop any time you want. If you feel that your building is as taller than anyone else, you can stop. And then when our secret time limit is announced, that means whoever has got the tallest building standing will be the winner. Okay? So if it falls down, keep going right away. All right. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. All right, let's see who's going to build it now. Who's going to build the tallest building now? Remember, you try and build a solid foundation to start things off. Any time you want, you can stop. It's up to you. If you have your pals here, you can root for the ones you think you want to stop. And who do you think is going to win? Whoa! There it went, right down. Now remember the secret. You can stop any time you want. If you don't want to take a chance. Oh, there goes a pal in the middle there. Come on, Pete, let's go. You're going to... Elaine is playing it real cool. She doesn't know whether she wants to do another one. She's... Oh, let's see who do. So far, Peter, keep going, Peter. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Uh -huh. oh. All right, I don't know. Who's going to get the tallest building? It's between the two girls now. They're building. Who's going to do it now? Which one? You think should they stop or should build it some more? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, it's almost time. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think my pal over here, just by one story, Renee, you're the winner of the game. Boy, it's kind of hard to keep it standing. there. All right, Renee, let's see what we have for you as a special first prize. We got a brand new Beatles game I think you'll have a lot of fun with. That's for you. And my other pals have some delicious uh, chunky chocolates and all kinds of things they can have all set up to go. Thank you, Mr. Ringmaster. There we go. Some beautiful, delicious, extra thick, chunky chocolate for each of you. A whole gift pack. One for you, Peter. And there's one for you, Elaine, right over there. Go see Mr. Ringmaster. <laughs> you know, when I see these tall buildings standing here like that, I just can't resist them. Do you mind if I, if I just try one little thing? Just want to see what will happen there. I just... <laughs> Let's see if I can get this one just with a... <laughs> Another phone ringing here. What's that phone? There? What's that phone? Wait. What are you doing in the middle over here? What are you doing? Oh, you don't see. Wait a minute. You don't see. You don't see. You don't see. Well, who in the world was that? He's getting saved. Boy, you crazy. <laughs> Well, Professor Tweety Foover says I, he has a special I tricky trick he wants to show us. What is it, oh, Professor? Don't Mr. Bozo. Oh, yes. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Oh, yeah. I'd love to see This it. is the greatest trick I've ever done. Yes, I bet. Okay. You see a magic trick. You see, they have. I have many, many cards and they're all different. Can uh huh. Yes, yes. Okay. Could I have one of the young ladies or gentlemen, please? Oh, would Bozo? you come here, Sharon? Here's, here's a little pal of mine. All right, all right. Now, oh, what, do you, what do you want to do? Okay. Just pick a card? Yeah, pick don't any show it to him now. Don't show it to him. Don't show it to me. Now close your eyes. Around. And we'll show it to the boys and girls right in the, right in the circus. Do you see what card that is? Right. Don't tell anybody. Don't say what it is. Okay. And now you can take it back now. Don't show it to him. Don't show it to him. Now, now put it right back in the deck any way you want. And then cut it up real is it back tight. In the deck? Yes, it's in the deck. Okay, now you can okay. turn. Thank we you, Okay. We put Sharon. it in here now. Uh-huh. And we set it here. And now, Mr. Bozo, I would appreciate if all the boys and all the girls over there and over here count one, two, three. Count one, two, three. three. Yeah, that's right. And then you're gonna you're gonna tell us what the card is. Yep. Well, that's gonna be all right. Well, all let's everybody count. You at home too. All right. One, one two, two, three. Wait, 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 wait. Woo, wait, 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 wait. We have to do that. On, we have to count once more. I'm one, sorry. Once more. Yeah, okay. Once, once more. more. Okay. Everybody. One, two. two. 
right? Well, I happen to have a little trick I'd like to show you. Now, I want everybody, you and I want the boys and girls, to use your imagination. Make believe we're in the jungle of deepest, darkest Africa, and there, there, the jungle is so thick there are three trees. Do you see the trees? Can you see the trees? I, I can see one, two, three trees. Yeah. Now, who, who climbs up trees? Do you know? Uh, up the trees, uh... Monkeys! Oh, I know. Elephants! Right. Elephants! No, no elephants! Monkeys! Now, pretend this is like a, a ring-tail monkey. Well, uh, the ring is there in the tail, the monkey's a sphere, but this is a monkey. It's and not, it's not much left of the monkey. No. Just and, the ring. Tail. That's right. And monkeys like to hop from tree to tree. Now watch what happens. We're gonna make the monkey hop from tree to tree. Now very simply. You yes, I gotta see. Okay, yeah. watch oh. it. Okay, now watch very carefully, and you'll see the monkey hop to another tree. See, now he hopped to another tree. From here to there. Yes, did you see that? Now watch, I can make him hop right back to his other tree. Watch oh, you it. could not. Okay, what did I do there? Did you see, did you see that? He hopped back to that tree. Yes, yes. Oh, oh. What, what, would you like him anywhere else? Can, can, can you do it once more? Can you make, which way? From In, here to here. Oh, that's sure. He watch could, it. He could, okay, watch this. Could, okay, there you go. Turn it, what? Turn it around. Oh, yes, so, uh, turn it so that, yes, turn it around. Yeah. There it is, turned around. You know, Mr. Bozo, yes, uh, these boys and girls said if the monkey would maybe so nice and who I get him in trouble and hop in the middle. Put the, the middle. monkey hop in the middle? <laughs> Mr. Bozo, I think they caught you. <laughs> you hop in the middle? Yep. Well, all right, you want, you want it to hop in the middle? Well, he can't, he can't. Oh, all right, okay. no, I don't think he can hop in the middle. I don't. Mr. Bozo, he, he. Oh, really? How about that? He sits up and he hopped from here and he hopped over here and then he hopped here and then he hopped in the middle. That's just a special tricky trick we did. Hey, you can hold on to my jungle over there. Don't don't let the monkey disappear because this way we'll get a chance now to remind my pals about something kind of... What telephone? Another telephone? Where? Oh, that telephone Please, again? Excuse me. What are you doing here? Yes, I don't think... Well, no. No, I like everything you're doing. I think you should do it. No, no, no. Use your own judgment. Because I like your product. Yes, I think it's wonderful. And I think you're fine. I think you have the best judgment in the world. Just keep on doing what you're doing and you will find many opportunities. Yes, just keep it up. <laughs> uh, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Who was that? It was the wrong number. Oh, would you please go out of here? Oh, Nelly! Time now for our Bozo bonus treasure chest game. Bring on the treasure chest, Mr. Ringmaster. Here it is. Oh, look at all those toys. Well, we'll get our Butch hat right out of here. And Butch, would you come here for a second? What I want you to do is to close your eyes real tight and pick out one of the numbers in there, please. And let's see who it's going to be. It's number 6969. Number 69, right here. Oh, this fellow right here. Well, how are you, Chris? How's everything? Are you ready to try for a treasure chest of toys? Bring in our special glass and our two spoons, Mr. Ringmaster. There it is set up. Now, Chris, do you know how to play this game? What we do is to hit this spoon so that this spoon falls in the glass. You can try as many times as you want and use both hands if you want to. Okay, ready? Chris, here we go. Right again, now. In 30 seconds. It goes right in there. Oh! Almost, almost, Chris, almost. Now try it. In. Try one more time now. Try it, and I'll help you a little bit. Let me just move this, set it up a bit. Oh, get the spoon quickly, Chris. Get it quickly. Set it up. Right, here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Can he do it? Do you think he can do it in time? I'll help you a little. Oh, almost, almost, Chris. Here we go. Oh, I get there. Oh, one more time. Now try it. Hit it hard now. Hit it hard. Oh, that's a little too hard. Oh, Chris, our 30-second time that went over. Well, even though the spoon didn't pop in the glass, I think you're going to enjoy our special Play-Doh Fun Factory that you'll have a lot of fun with. Take that home, Chris, and enjoy it. I tell you, well, he tried pretty good. Let's add another prize to the treasure chest, Mr. Ringmaster. We have in the treasure chest uh, Duffy's Daredevils. Would you put that in, please, Mr. Professor? Wowie. Sure, so big, so big. Well, I know. How about that? 
<laughs> I tell you, can you bring in the spoon in the glass here? Now, I, I don't know why he can't do that. That's kind of fun. Professor, did you see this spoon in the glass? He's having a, a, lot, a lot of trouble getting it in. I can, I can make the entire glass go, and I can put it over here, and I can grab the glass without it touching the, the head. Now wait, let me get this straight. You're going to do a little disappearing thing here? I can do. You can make that glass disappear? I can. I make it this. Yeah. You have to count three, Mr. Bozo. Count three in this glass right here. With, and you don't, and without touching it. I don't touch the head. You don't touch the hat, and the, yeah. and the thing's gonna disappear. Yeah. Oh, One, two, three. It's gone. Come on well, now. I don't touch it the hat. Be gone. Thank you. That's right. He didn't touch the hat. That's for sure. Oh, professor. Time now for our famous dance along here at the Bozo Big Top. So if you're in a dancing mood, I hope you'll join with us. Mr. Ringmaster, will you strike up the band? Here we go. I hope you had fun at our Bozo Big Top. And of course, we'll see you again next time here at the Bozo TV Circus. Till then, remember what your pal Bozo always says. Holly!